Manchester United want to sign Ajax midfielder Donny van der Beek, according to reports. But what is the full story? Let's take a look at where these transfer reports came from, what van der Beek has had to say about any potential January transfer away from Ajax and how he's been playing this season for Ajax. Before we begin, make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're not already a subscriber. But let's take a look at the van der Beek full story. So where did this transfer story begin? It started with Mark Ogden at ESPN. He was saying that Solskjaer was considering a move for him in January. And that was followed up very soon after by James Ducker at The Telegraph with the same story, saying that Man United were given serious consideration for a move for van der Beek. Over in Holland with Voitbol Internationale, they are saying the same thing, that United were considering a move for van der Beek. My opinion on that is, why would we be considering a move for him? in January when the windows open we should be doing that a month or two before and then making our move in January would it just be the fact that United have McTominay and Pogba out injured that Solskjaer all of a sudden thinks he needs a midfielder I like to think that is not the case but a player like van der Beek could solve so many of United's problems he's a player who wants the ball at his feet a player who's confident playing in the number six role eight role and ten role has done all three of those for Ajax and done them very, very well. The sort of midfielder who can control the tempo of a game and it's the sort of midfielder that United desperately need. So the fee of around 50 million for the 22-year-old seems pretty relative for a player who could come in and make an immediate impact to United's midfield, which desperately needs a player like him. So the next question to ask is, would Van der Beek leave Ajax in January? Now, De Ligt left in the summer for Juventus, De Jong went to Barcelona. Their best talents leave Ajax eventually to go on to bigger clubs in European football. But would Van der Beek go to United and would he do it in January? This is actually what he had to say back in October when asked about any sort of potential January transfer away from Ajax. He said, I don't want to leave during the winter break. I play here all season and I finish at Ajax this year. That gives me clarity and tranquility. I will see what happens next. Maybe someday in my career it will happen that I switch clubs during the winter break, but now I don't like it. So if that is the case and Van der Beek is staying true to what he said back in October, there's no chance that he's joining the United or any club in the January transfer window. And up until this point, there hasn't really been any official word from his agent either. Not denying the rumours, not accepting the rumours, just letting them murmur in the background. Like I suppose most agents would do in this situation. But how has Van der Beek been playing for Ajax this season? The last game he played for them was on the 22nd of December and the next game he's going to play is on the 19th of January against Sparta Rotterdam. That's because of the winter break that Ajax have in the Eredivisie. But how has he been getting on this season? In 16 appearances, he has got six goals and four assists for Ajax in the Eredivisie. And in the Champions League, he's got two goals and an assist in five games. And one thing you've got to consider about Van der Beek is the fact that De Ligt did leave and De Jong did leave. So that core that they had last year when they got to the Champions League semi-final, I think it was, they've lost quite a lot of that. But Van der Beek is still putting in the numbers and positionally, he could add so much to this United team. As I said, comfortable playing in a more defensive midfield role, comfortable playing in a more central midfield role and also comfortable playing in a more attacking role. And that attacking role is where United are lacking the most. We need somebody who can receive the ball to his feet, turn and have the confidence and the quality, more importantly, to find the players with passes through the lines. And that's something that Van der Beek does naturally. He's brought up through the Ajax Academy. It's the Ajax way of playing football. And United are desperate for a midfielder who is confident with the ball at his feet. Paul Pogba is that player for us, but he's been missing for four months. McTominay is certainly improving in that regard, but he's more of a, a destroyer at the moment, breaking up teams and passing to somebody else. And that's what he does very, very well. Fred, he is like that. But I think Fred needs someone there that he can play that style of football with, and that's where someone like Van der Beek would tick all of the boxes. It does make you wonder why United didn't go after him in, in the summer. You know, Real Madrid was sniffing around him, and that would complicate any sort of transfer. But the summer, United, we made good signings and we failed miserably in the signings that we didn't make. And one of them definitely was a midfielder of Van der Beek's ilk. 
So I'd be delighted if we did go after him in January. And according to Mark Ogden and James Ducker, that's exactly what United are considering doing. But I'm bored of United being considered FC. I want to see us start making some moves. So why need, I want to see some activity. Van der Beek? Yes, please. That's what I would say anyway. When the stories emerged that United were considering a move for Van der Beek, it might have sounded like just another bit of transfer guff. Another player linked to United and nothing actually happens. But James Duck is reporting it. Mark Oldham's reporting it. Let's see what happens over the next week or so. But this is the full story on Van der Beek to United at the moment. Do you want to see United go after the 22-year-old midfielder? Or are there other players better suited to the roles that we need to fill? Because we need midfield signings in January. It's not a case of want to improve areas. It's a case of need. We do not have a midfield of the quality that's going to get us anywhere near the top four, which has to be our aim this season. Van der Beek would certainly improve that. And I would consider him more of a long-term signing as well. It wouldn't just be a signing for the sake of it. I could see him moulding into an excellent United player, although we might drag him downwards. I suppose you have to ask whether he would actually want to join the club at the moment as well. But Van der Beek, do you want to see United go after him? And do you think he would want to join United as well? Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. Until next time, though, take it easy.